The calls sound frighteningly real. I shot my wife, so you just shot your wife. But this one, part of a prank known as swatting, is fake. Callers use so-called spoofing software to disguise their real phone number, duping 911 operators and sending SWAT teams racing to crimes that don't exist. The residents that we're responding to, they may not have any idea that we are responding to their home. It could be pretty scary. And expensive. The fake calls cost real money, about $10,000 each time. Celebrities are frequent targets. Just this week, Rihanna and P. Diddy. And yesterday, police showed up at the homes of Selena Gomez and Justin Timberlake. There was a, a call of four men that entered the home. And there was a call of someone being shot inside the home. Wow. And it's very, very popular in Los Angeles. Swatting takes advantage of outdated computer systems, tricking them into thinking a caller is in one location when they could be hundreds of miles away. When the police pull up caller ID, they may see a 213 number or a 310 number. What they have to do is track it back through uh, the phone carrier and figure out where the call actually came from. Newer technology may be able to stop them once and for all, including upgraded systems that use GPS to identify where a call is really coming from. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot someone else soon. So officers know if that emergency is for real or phony. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.